hello guys welcome to another tech videos okay so today uh, i will explain you how to configure the r syslog server okay in red hat 7 before i let you know okay guys uh, you know my channel okay it's raven vlogs okay I, I need each and everyone to subscribe my channel okay if you do subscribe my channel and comment on my channel so I will make more tech videos okay so I want you to each and every guys just subscribe my channel over here okay so uh, let me go to explain you about the configuration part okay so we have a Red Hat 7 okay so basically you require two things in that one is the server and second thing is the client okay so uh, in the server part what you have to do in that you have to just install the package the package known as rsyslog okay so it's very easy okay so uh, currently i am using a yum installer okay so you can configure from your side the yum installer so you can just type yum install then the package name which you want to install yeah it's a rsyslog okay yeah it's rsyslog Okay, you got the package right so I just put it start so it will install all the dependency just type yum install rsyslog if it is installed it will show the package is already installed let me check I think uh, I have entered some wrong for that reason it's giving me uh, let me check yeah it's something it's missing I think if the S is missing okay it's, uh, type s and this go again uh, now you can check over here okay so i think it's package is already installed from here the package is already installed so what you have to do you have to go to the configuration files the main configuration files will be it's etc r syslog rsyslog.conf okay this will be your main configuration files in this files what you have to do okay so there will be a two things like you want to authenticate uh, like tcp or udp so i think you know about tcp and udp so in this configuration files what you have to do you have to just go to the tcp mode connections like there are two things okay there is a uh, UDP syslogs recipients and provider TCP syslogs. So currently, uh, what you have to do, you have to just uncomment this two lines. These two lines you have to uncomment. That means you are allowing TCP connections, right? Okay. So in this, just you have to uncomment this line. Nothing to do else. Okay. Then just uh, save your files after saving your files you have to just restart your syslog so okay system cdl restart our syslog okay you got it so you have to restart your server yeah it's restarted now okay and for this from server side you it's already done check the status of this whether it's like uh, running or not and check the status we check the status whether it's running yeah you can check the status is active and it's currently in running conditions so from this side it's running okay so what you have to do in the client side okay so just log in to your client server what you're doing in this things is that you're taking okay taking the logs of your client machine okay whatever the things it's happening whatever the like commands is like client is using all the things are getting monitorized so in that case uh, 
the client side or again you have to just install the package I think whether it's installed or not let me check install also slot yeah, it's taking a time yeah let me check also slot for the start so it will install all the dependency I think Yeah, it's already installed. Nothing, uh, nothing to do with that. All the dependency already has been installed on this. Okay, so nothing to worry. You have to just go to the configuration file select VI is editor. Okay, you can use any of the editor if you want. VI is the syslog. Right, just type this command and you have to go to the last line. Okay, just drag down to the last line what you have to do over here you have to just uh, uncomment a line okay over a year it will tell you the remote and if you're using a TCP connection so you have to use two asterisks and then you can just type the fully qualified domain uh, domain name or you can use a server IP and we can check like the port 514 which is allowed okay so on this client machine you have to just type this asterisk as well as your server name with the port okay by typing this just save it okay after saving from the server side I'm gonna just stop the firewall so there will be no any allowance so what you can do you can just disable it's very easy system CDL disable or you can just stop okay it's very easy to stop currently right now because I'm not configuring the firewall right now I'm just showing you the demo of RSS logs CDL stop firewall yeah it's firewall D service but D is a daemon which is controlling the firewall so just stop the system CTL stop firewall so now the firewall is stops okay so what I will do now in that case I think it's already been configured okay so from the server side I want to check okay whether the logs is getting created or not so in that case what I will do I will just check verify uh, server side whether I'm getting the log of the client or not till till it will tell you the current so your database log file will be in var log it's log message okay okay so now what I will do I will just put something command right over here so restart the service of parcels log whether let me check whether it's like working over there or not just some say deal restart parcels log yeah it's it's at overtaken let me enter this yeah it's restarted let me check whether it's uh, coming out yeah you can see client okay system client system d prs okay, log uh, it's login login service that means our rs log server is configured okay so we are getting the logs of the client okay so this is the way like uh, you can configure the syslog so okay to get monitor uh, your client machines events like what are the things which is happening anything went wrong so you can just correct all the things by using the rs log so guys this is uh, this is it so if you want more on tech videos so guys do subscribe to my channel my channel name is raven blocks okay so i want you to subscribe my channel and i will give you more tech videos okay coming to uh, the daily life so hope you guys uh, and do comment and share my videos okay hope you guys do you like my channels and subscribe it thank you guys have a good day have a happy life bye bye